One of the biggest battles going on in the Democratic primary right now is between Joe Biden and reality and getting him to acknowledge where he has stood on the most important issues of the day. Bankruptcy law, the war in Iraq, health care, but also social security. So he recently got really mad when the Bernie campaign implied that in the past he has said that he would be supportive of cuts to social security. In fact, he put out a tweet to this end saying, I've been fighting to protect and expand social security for my whole career. Any suggestion otherwise just flat out wrong. We got a bit of the ad that he embedded in that tweet. Take a look at this. As Democrats, we can't launch dishonest attacks against fellow Democrats. We have to beat Donald Trump. Now Bernie's campaign has unleashed a barrage of negative attacks on Joe Biden. They've even accused Joe Biden of supporting Paul Ryan's cuts to Social Security. Bernie's campaign is not telling the truth. Okay, so their attacks, their dishonest smears, note that they were not, those headlines were not from New York Times articles. It was opinion pieces, probably from a Biden surrogate. But anyway, here's the thing. Bernie did attack him on this, and rightfully so. Here was a response ad that Bernie put out. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it the third time, and I tried it the fourth time. Well, we've got some bad news for them. We are not going to cut Social Security. We're going to expand benefits. So, like, it's not smears, it's the truth, okay? Consider, like, coming to grips with what you've actually done in the past. Consider it once, consider it twice, <laughs> consider it a third time. Tell the truth about what you've said, okay? This is not like 30 years ago. Like, we have access to this video, we have access to the transcripts. What you have said and done is on tape, you cannot deny it anymore. This is one of the biggest things that I think a lot of old school candidates can't come to grips with is understanding we're in 2020 now and. Forget it, forget 2020, go back to 2018, 17, 16. Mm -hmm. We can go on at the, at the drop of a hat, grab our phones, and just get, oh, let me find out what he said. And it can happen, it's too easy yeah. to let this just go. And then I'm amazed they don't have any advisors that go, hey Joe, um, let's have a different approach to this because everyone knows it's true. And that smears are something that people do when it's off subject or when it, uh, it's un untrue. Yeah. Both of these things, it's, it's a subject matter that people care about and it's true. Yeah. You have yeah, to have a different it would be, approach. It would be one thing if it was like, we were in different fiscal times back then. Now, I don't support these cuts. In mm -hmm. fact, I support um, increasing Social Security, which is what he says he does now. But that's not what he's saying to the American people. He's saying, I never propose those cuts, which means we can keep responding <laughs> with videos like this. People know we have to fix Social Security. They know we can't grow our way to a solution. They know we're gonna have to make some tough decisions. They're ready to make these decisions. They're ready to step up. We have to be ready to straightforwardly tell them what we're about to do. Yeah, at least straightforwardly tell us what you were about to do back in 2008 when you were talking about the hard choices that have to be made for Social Security. That's not the 90s, that was just 13 or 14 years ago. It's one of the few uh, uh, the career paths of politician that where you can do something, say something, have a record, oh, have, a, have a, a, a job that you've done in a certain way and then have to, and then completely cover it up. You go for a new job and you have someone on your resume, you can't say, yeah, I never did that. Yeah. You can't just say it that you way. Can't. But you're the most, one of the most powerful people and you're allowed to do that. Exactly, and uh, look, as AOC tweeted, she was going through all this. She said, I don't understand why some folks run as if the internet doesn't exist. Exactly. But the reason is that the media is protecting Joe Biden from accountability on these issues. So many people still don't know where he stands on, this, on these issues. And if the media was doing their job, that would not be a concern. You would have to come to grips with what you've said and done in the past. Kids can't get away with stuff like this. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.